Christian Louboutin, Giuseppe Zanotti and Christian Dior have all released killer heels in their collections and celebrities from Gwyneth Paltrow to Victoria Beckham can't get enough of them. Today's modern take on the killer heel is a bit softer than those of yesteryear, but the sex appeal is as strong as ever. I've come to Runway Shoes in Newmarket to talk to director and buyer Liz Upton Savage to see if the trend for killer heels has kicked off here in New Zealand yet. Well, do you think it has, Liz? I do, I do. Our customers are embracing it and acknowledging that designers are bringing it back. Our platform uh, yeah, is very high fashion at the moment, okay. it just bounces it out a bit. So Kiwi Woman with our lifestyles and more outdoorsy, we really embrace that platform which balances out that sleeve of heels. So just tell me about these gorgeous belly. These Those are our new here. spring summer, they've just arrived in. Um, new designer Brian Atwood for belly. This is this new platform, very high, but it balances out this gorgeous stiletto heel and you can just see it's a feature of it. Really well balanced, buying quality is what you're looking for when you want a high heel like that. So we'd class this here as a killer heel, wouldn't we? You would. This is a, in a beautiful liquid viola patent, which is the colour of the season for winter, on a slight, slight platform which balances out this gorgeous killer heel. You know, wearing a heel like this really does improve the overall look of your Legs, it does. It? Elongates the leg. You know, it just really enhances the look of the leg and it's all about being a woman and embracing it. For those women that have to have a pair of red shoes in their wardrobe, they look like the perfect solution. They are perfect. Timeless, printed crop patent, peak toe, you can wear them with tights or without, so it's trend seasonal. It's perfect. And again, that killer heel, designer Cassidy. It's just known for stilettos and sexiness. And we have some more Cassidy here. Yeah. These are also more risque, bit that more pointed. Risque. You can see their 80s coming back again, that pointed again. It may surprise you to know that the stiletto heel only came into existence in the 1950s when footwear pioneers Salvatore Ferragamo and Roger Vivier began using principles of engineering to produce an entirely new heel. This is gorgeous, it's another belly, it's got a hidden platform in it, again with a platform but more subtle and in clothes. It's on a higher heel, not a fine stiletto, but you're actually, because of the platform that you're actually walking on a height, more that level than that level. So it's called a hidden platform that's sold really well. And what about this amazing? That's Sebastian again, that gorgeous deep viola, um, again on that stiletto heel, it's just a pure classic sexy boat. For those who would like to get it a super high heel but are a bit unsure because you know they think oh, it's going to be so uncomfortable, what advice have you got? That is that stereotype, it's all about the fit. So you need to be somewhere where the sales consultant knows what they're talking about, they're experienced and knowledgeable about the fit. So they'll look at your foot and say you've got a high instep, it's all about the pitch, how a heel fits you, pitch is all through here, how it balances so you should sit of your arch which sit just nicely through the ends, it just cushions you. All these designers that we have, you know, for the price point, they do a lot of research, um, they wear the shoes, it goes through quality control, and so heels are made to be comfortable within reason. I'm with Emma, and Emma is the manager of Runway Shoes, and she's going to give me a lesson in how to walk and kill her heels. Emma, so what's the first thing I should know? First thing, we've got the fit, right? We've found a pair of shoes that fit you beautifully. And you find your balance. So put it to stand tall, shoulders back, stomach in, and you're really finding your balance through your thighs and your legs. And you seem really balanced. So the next thing is to start walking. And there's different styles of walking, and you see people with loose ankles. You don't want them to have loose ankles. You want them to be quite firm. You want to walk with your legs in front of your body and slightly across, as opposed to out. <laughs> Trying to plant the ball of your foot down first. So it's a ball with this yeah. eye. Yeah, I think it's yeah. toe. But okay. Yeah, well, toe heels are not. Yeah, go by the way, not toe heel. Toe heel, well, I yes. suppose you could, but it's. So the ball is actually. The, it's, it's more comfortable. Yeah, it is. It's, it's yeah. more natural, like. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah. If you go for the heel, you kind of, yeah, it's one tiny little point. If you're going for the ball, that's the biggest point in the really. You're more stable. So once you've got the ball, the aim is to, to cross your, your leg across your body, cross your knee. Yeah, just slightly cross your body. And loosen your hips. The chunkier the heel, the more secure you will feel and the steadier your steps. Spindly and strappy heels will only have you teetering around the place uncomfortably, unless you're a seasoned heel wearer. And remember, be confident. Swing those hips and own those extra few inches. Think twice before wearing stockings. The soles of your feet won't have anything to grip onto, and the result could be a slippery slide down onto all fours. Okay, so they're not always going to be practical, depending on your lifestyle, but their styling is such that they're universally flattering. Even if you do only wear them once or twice a week, they're going to enhance your legs and your attitude. And that's got to be a good thing.